hello traders welcome back to my channel this is Federico Saliti today I'm going to answer some questions about the swap rate I already have another video about the swap rate and uh, it is more an introduction covering all the basics and also all the most important things about the swap rate and uh, you can find the link to that video in the info card the top right of this video even in the description box and at the end of this video so why another video about it because I have had recently more advanced questions about the swap rate so I'm going to try to answer them in this video so if you are totally unfamiliar, so if you know nothing about the swap rate, I suggest the previous video that is a kind of introduction. If you're already familiar with it and you would like to have a more advanced video about it, I suggest to proceed with this video. So five questions that I would like to try to answer in this video. First one is, uh, is the swap rate negative both sides because the interest rates right now are low? And uh, the second question is, does it depend on the number of lots that you trade? Third question, should I close my positions during weekend to avoid to pay it while not trading? And fourth question is, uh, is it going to affect my trading in a significant way? Last question is, should I go for a swap free account? So I want to start uh, by introducing the formula for the swap interest rate. It is a quite complicated formula, so I don't really suggest to go through it, uh, but I want to introduce it because it's going to be very helpful when we will answer some of the questions we have just seen. So the, the formula is swap is equal to minus open brackets, and then we have to calculate the contract size in units, times then open bracket again the difference between the two interest rates and the markup that the broker applies and then if we want to have a daily swap interest rate we have to divide this value by 365 that is the number of days in one year and I want to give you an example based on a long position for 0.20 lots on pound against US dollar. So we have contract size in units. We have said 0.20 lots. So in units is going to be 20,000. And then we have to multiply by the difference between the two interest rates. And you can see on this page on investing.com that uh, uh, we have an interest rate for the Federal Reserve that is uh, from 0 to 0 0.25. We will use 0 0.25 in this case. Um, and uh, the one for Bank of England is, is 0 0.10. So the difference is 0 25 minus 0 010 and we have a 0 15 percent so in the formula we're going to put 0 0.0015 and uh, and then we have uh, uh, the markup by the broker and this is usually between 0 05 and 1 percent so uh, here in this example we will put 0 0.008 and then we divide everything by 365 and the result is 0 52 now 0 052 of what is 052 of the base currency so we are trading pound against US dollar the base currency is pound so it's 0 0.52 pounds in this case if you have your account uh, your trading account in dollars then you also have to convert the 0 0.52 pounds in uh, in dollars so you can see it is quite complicated uh, do you need to go through it every time you want to calculate the the swap interest absolutely not you you can already check on your broker's website the interest rate, the swap interest rates that they are charging or they are paying for each currency pair and for each kind of position, so long or short. For example, I want to check with DarwinX, that is one of my brokers. I just go here on Google and just Google DarwinX uh, uh, swap interest and uh, you can see that uh, I have a list of old uh, swap interest interest uh, rates uh, for Darwin X and uh, with this formula with this part of the formula that we have right here we can finally try to answer all the five questions we have seen at the very beginning of this video so the first one is 
as the swap rates negative both sides because interest rates are low in this period. You can see from the formula that uh, it doesn't really matter uh, if interest rates are low or are high. What matters is the difference between the two interest rates. So in this case, with pound against the US dollar that we have just seen, we had a difference of 0.15%. It would have been totally the same if uh, uh, the interest rate for the Federal Reserve was uh, 6% and uh, the one for Bank of England was 5.85%. The difference would have been 0.15% anyway, so we would have ended up with the same swap that we had to pay. So it's not about uh, interest rates, if they are high or they are low, it's about the difference between the two interest rates. Then, second question was, does it depend on the number of lots that you trade? Once again, if you have a look at the formula, you see that the answer is very easy and it is yes. It depends on how many units, uh, how many lots you trade. So if you trade with a bigger position, you have a, a higher uh, swap interest you have to pay. If you trade with a smaller position, you have a lower interest rate that you pay. And then, should I close my position during weekend? so we can avoid to pay the, the swap interest while we are not trading, obviously, over the weekend. And uh, the answer to this question is no, because uh, it is true we pay the uh, swap interest 365 days per year, but this interest is not charged on Saturday and Sunday. Usually the broker charges uh, uh, the interest for Saturday and Sunday in another day of the week that most of times is Wednesday. So during Saturday and Sunday we don't pay it, but there is a day of the week usually Wednesday, as I was saying, uh, in which the broker is charging three times the normal swap interest, so covering also Saturday and Sunday. And this happens whether or not you were holding any position over the weekend. So it doesn't really matter if you hold the position during the weekend or not. And uh, second last question is, uh, is it going to affect my trading in a significant way? Well, mm, the standard answer I will give is no, but it depends on the strategy that you have. I want to give you a practical example based on a strategy that I share on Udemy, it is the ARM system. So the ARM system that trades on pound against US dollar, we pay more or less 0 free pips per day as swap interest. Of course, we have seen uh, with the formula that it depends on several factors, but we can see that uh, uh, if we check uh, historical data, on average, we pay around 0 0.3 pips per day. So multiply this by 365 days of the year, and we have 109.5 uh, uh, pips. That means roughly around two positions that we sacrifice every year uh, paying the swap interest rate. Uh, to put this in perspective, let's say that you are trading with 1% of max with the ARM system and you have to pay this kind of tax, let's call it like this, of 109.5 pips at the end of the year in swap interest. This means that if you are aiming with the 1% of max to double your account at the end of the year, so plus 100%, now you lose around the 2% of this profit. So instead of plus 100%, you're going to make around plus 98%. And if you just like me, you trade with 0.20%, instead of aiming for plus 20% at the end of the year, you are going to make probably around plus 19.60%. So you can understand that uh, it is not really a significant uh, impact on your strategy. And the last question was, should I go for a swap free account. A swap free account is also called Islamic account because according to their religion, uh, Muslims cannot really accept any form of interest in trading, so they cannot have any swap rate. And should you go for something like this? I will say no for two reasons. The first one is if you're not a Muslim, you have to say to your broker that you are. And uh, honestly, I wouldn't really feel comfortable to lie like this. And uh, a second reason is that this kind of accounts 
usually give you an advantage uh, regarding swap uh, interests uh, so you don't pay them but they usually give you disadvantages on other uh, aspects uh, for example uh, you may have a wider uh, spread or maybe you have to deposit a certain amount of money or maybe you will have a lower leverage so it is good uh, regarding swap but maybe you have some other disadvantages in the same account so I will say that the answer is no, you shouldn't uh, uh, go for a swap free account. And uh, this is the end of the video. I hope that uh, these five answers to these five questions were quite uh, clear to you and helped you in any way. And uh, of course, if you have any other question regarding the swap rate, feel free to comment in the box, uh, the comment box below. And uh, for now, I just wish you a great trading week and we will talk very soon. Bye for now.